In this problem, we want to find the quotient of the rational expressions. That means we're going to rewrite them away from being a division problem and turn them into a multiplication problem. We're going to start that by just copying down the first fraction directly. So 4g plus 52 is over 5g plus 20. Then we're going to convert the division sign into a multiplication sign. In order to do that, we need to flip the second fraction. Remember, keep, change, flip. Keep the first fraction, change the multiplication, flip the second fraction. So now the top of our second fraction is g squared plus 7g plus 12. And the bottom is now g squared plus 15g plus 26. Now we want to factor each piece of this. So let's start with 4g plus 52. This has a greatest common factor of 4. When we pull a 4 out, we're left with g plus 13. Let's also factor the denominator. 5g plus 20 has a greatest common factor of 5. When we pull out a 5, we are left with g plus 4. Now we're going to multiply by our second fraction, which we are also going to factor. So when we're looking at g squared plus 7g plus 12, we are looking for two numbers that multiply to 12, but add to 7. The numbers that do that are 3 and 4, so we can write this as g plus 3 times g plus 4. And we can do this with the denominator as well, because we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 26, but add to 15. So the two numbers that do that are going to be g plus 13 and g plus 2 because 13 and 2 multiply to 26 and add to 15. Now we can go ahead and cancel anything that is on both the top and the bottom of these fractions. So g plus 13 is on the top and on the bottom, so we can cancel those. Similarly, g plus 4 is on the top and the bottom, so we can cancel those. Now what's left over? Well, on the top I still have my 4 and g plus 3. And then in the denominator, I have 5 and g plus 2. And that is the quotient of our rational expressions.